The stage is now set for the inaugural sitting of the 12th Parliament after Tuesday and Wednesday orientation exercise for the newly elected legislators. And with NASA having confirmed their attendance to the all-important sitting, all eyes are now set on the election of the two House speakers. National Assembly's Justin Muturi, together with his Senate counterpart, Ekwe Thoro, will be looking to retain their seats, despite other candidates having expressed interest to face them. Ethoro maintaining he holds a decent chance in defeating his opponents come Thursday. The members have assured me, and the assurance I have is because uh, there is a track record in terms of, you know, we started the Senate from a mere concept on paper, on the Constitution. We made it a house. In fact, the fact that there is so much interest in the Senate tells you it should be one indicator of my good performance, that I have made the house attractive. The race for the Senate Speaker has attracted, among others, Kenneth Lusaka, Ramesh Chandra Govin and former Senator Wilfred Machagi. People won't change, okay? If there were governors and they failed and people have not selected them back, that means they have failed in their duties somewhere. Justin Muturi, on the other hand, will be squaring it out against two other contenders, namely Migudo Noah Winja and Onyango Washington Andango. Kurosoi North MP elect Moses Chiboy may be headed for a landslide victory as the National Assembly Deputy Speaker after he was cleared as sole candidate. Muranga County Senator elect Rungu Kangata, Nairobi's Johnson Sakaja, Kiambu's Kimani Wamatangi, and Nakuru's Susan Kihika will battle it out for the position of Deputy Speaker of the Senate after being cleared to contest. For Channel 1 News, I am Edward Kabasa.